next comedian we have coming up is another middle-aged bald guy. <laughs> <laughs> really funny guy, though. He's a really good guy with a big heart. Oh, man. You guys see him afterwards. He doesn't drink, so buy the water. Uh, <laughs> Tim Hines, everybody. Let's go. It's a rum and coke. Who's hold hold the rum? Yeah. So uh, <laughs> if you want to keep those coming, that that would be great. So you guys are doing good. Everybody's having a good night. Yeah. Yeah. Idol Hour, New West Suburbs. Yes. Keep <laughs> it up. You guys came out. I'm, I'm like I'm so excited. I I'm just really happy I didn't get stuck in traffic on the Eisenhower on the way here. It's usually a bitch. Um, I'm having a I'm having a great night, and I'm uh, getting kind of amped up because my 30th birthday is coming up. Anybody here 30 are going to be turning 30 soon? Anybody? Robin, I know you're already 30. <laughs> we talked about it. So only a couple people. Is anybody over 30 here? Yes. Couple. Okay. I'm so only 25. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys feel my pain though. Um, now I get excited about my birthday though. It's always a good time because uh, you know everybody seems to make a big deal out of it. Your friends, your family, and I could uh, I get a sense that you know 30 is going to be the same way. I uh, what I look forward to though is that my grandma uh, seems to make a big deal about it for me, which is so sweet because you know she's been doing that since I was a kid. But I'm not sure if she's like being sincere or if she's just trying to mess with me because. She'll still send me like a, a birthday card with like puppy dogs and shit on it, you know? And I'll open it up and there'll be like a check for $5 in there. Like a check. A check for $5. Like, what the hell am I gonna do with a check for $5, Grandma? Buy some big league chew and some baseball cards? Like, she must think I'm still 12 years old, you know? I don't think she gets that to cash the check, right? It would literally cost me $2.50 on the bus to go to the bank. And 250 back. Like she's literally just buying me a free ride on the CTA. Right? It's like, oh, thanks. So, you know, I just want you to explore your city. You know, it's great. She'll, uh, she, one year, she actually sent me uh, like a knitted sweater. You know, she spent like six months, like off and on, like knitting this sweater, like in her spare time. And I was like, that's pretty awesome. And I open up the box. I'm like, oh, how's the knitted sweater? Now, it's nothing like I would wear. Well, maybe I would wear it here because it's kind of goofy. Uh, but I mean, I don't think I'd wear it like on a date or anything. But I mean, it was, you know, it's warm. And I, I took it out and I look at it and I open it up and it's like literally like this big. Again, something for a, like a 12 year old kid, you know? And I, I told my mom, I was like, yeah, you know, grandma sent me a sweater for my birthday. And she goes, oh, that's so nice of her. I'm like, yeah, but it's like the size of, for a five year old kid. And she's like, well, you, you're going to have to wear it around her. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't want to disappoint old granny, and so I'm like, oh, shit. So the next uh, family party, which is actually her birthday, funny enough, I was wearing this sweater, and it literally felt like a small midget was trying to ring me down. Like It was like a turtleneck, and it was like so tight, and I'm walking around like a robot, like all stiff, and I'm like knocking people's drinks over and shit. I'm like, oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry, my grandma made me wear it. And she's like, you look so cute in it! And I'm just like, you're just messing with me, you old senile! <laughs> so I call her, I call her to thank her for the birthday card and for the sweater. And this is when I figured out that she really was messing with me, you guys. I call her up, and she picks up the phone, and she's like, hello! And I'm like, hey, Grandma, it's uh, Tim. Your grandson just wanted to say thanks so much for the check and uh, for five bucks and the uh, and the lovely sweater you made me. And she goes, "Who is this?" And I'm like, "Tim, Tim, your grandson." And she goes, "Sam." And I'm like, "No, Tim." And she goes, "Ted." And I go, "Tim, T I M, your grandson that lives in Chicago." And she's like, "Eric." And I'm like, "How is that even close, Grandma? Seriously." She's crazy, you guys. She's just, I know she's just messing with me, really. So like I said, I am, uh, I am turning 30 uh, soon, which is just totally, yeah, woo, huh? Just totally terrifying to me. I mean, I'm single, uh, no, you know, no girlfriend, so ladies, I'll be outside after this, drinking my 
Coke, no rub. Do you want to come? Do you want to come talk to me? Did, did you just raise your hand? Was that? Yeah. You and me. You and, you and me this weekend. Well, maybe after I tell this bit, because this might change your mind. So I have figured out. I've, I, 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 you know, I've come to realize a few things as I'm getting older. You know, I, uh, I've, I, I've, I've come to a few realizations that really point to like, hey, okay, now I know I'm getting old. I want to share this with you guys. Uh, number one reason that I figured out I'm getting old is that uh, I start growing hair in really weird places. You guys know people that are over 30, right? Yeah, the other day I was looking in the mirror and I was like looking at my ear and I saw I had like an inch and a half long hair growing out of the top of it. I was like, is that, is that just stuck on there? <laughs> no, no, it's growing out of my fucking ear. I can grow hair on the top of my ear but not the top of my head and Mike, thank you so much for noticing. <laughs> Super. So number two, <laughs> you can't stay out late on weeknights anymore, and actually it's getting close to my bedtime now, which is why I asked Mike to put me up earlier in the set, because I gotta go home and go to bed. I have friends that are in their early 20s, and they'll call me to go out, and they'll be like, yo, Tim, man, hey, let's go out tonight, you know, let's, we're gonna go to a couple bars, grab some drinks, hang out, and I'm like, man, it's fucking Thursday, man, I don't want to go out, and the guy's like, no, man, tomorrow, it's Friday, it's no big deal, whatever, we'll just go out, we'll, you know, we'll stay out till, like, midnight or whatever, and I'm like, dude, I've got to work tomorrow, you know, I, I'm, I don't think you get that, like, what, what are you missing here, I'm sorry that your boss doesn't care whether or not you have a shitty work output, okay, I still got to get up and go to work, you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys ever go to work hungover on a Friday, you don't get shit done, you know, I don't want to get fired for that. Number three, the third tell of how you're getting older. This is a 100% true story. Last summer, I had, I was standing in line. Was it in line or is it online? Online? Uh, fuck it. I was standing in a line at a, at a fair, at one of the festivals, uh, street festivals last summer. And I was standing there in line, just, you know, moving out my own business. And I felt this small tugging at my arm and I looked down and this actually happened twice. I saw a small kid holding my hand. <laughs> <laughs> the first one was a little girl and I'm like, I go, I look down I'm like, what? And uh, she's like, looks up at me and goes, oh! and like takes off running. I was like, anybody that's tall than her might be your parent, right? But when it happened twice, that's kind of when I realized like, man, maybe I am kind of looking like I should be a dad, you know? So the second time, no street festival. This is like two weeks later. Standing in line again. Except it was my right hand. <laughs> my right hand this time. And I, I feel it talking, I look down, and I see a small kid, a little boy, he's holding my hand. I'm, I look at him, I don't even say a word, and he just looks at me, and I'm still looking at him, <laughs> and he's still looking at me, and then he goes, he's like, uh, you're not my dad? And I go, <laughs> I go, no, I'm not, kid. Plus, you're black, so. All right, guys, I'm Tim Hines. Give it up for the Arnold Comics. Give it up for Mike, your host. Woo! my, uh, my Roman coat. All right, one more time for Tim Hines. We're gonna move right along, man. You guys really are a great audience. Everyone's really festive and have a good time.